discuss the standards repeal. We wrote and fought for legislation that would include students in superintendent search and screening processes because we knew that students should and could more fully participate as partners in making our schools better. We believe that school officials and education policy makers should be held accountable not only to students, but by students at every turn. We investigated post-secondary transitions because we knew that in Kentucky, less than 20% of ninth graders will graduate college. We knew that in Kentucky, the average student to counselor ratio is nearly twice the recommended average. Students are affected by these issues and their voices must be at the center of any discussion about solving them. So we released a 20 page policy report and an eight part op-ed package that infused student voices with research and have been presenting our work to students, educators, researchers, and policymakers ever since. Turns out, informed students can be excellent advocates. <laughs> driven by a political interest or a special interest, but by a dedication to a common one. We give a human perspective to issues that are often spoken about in terms of only numbers. Just three years into this venture, and significantly, with some seed money from the Gates Foundation, we are learning some important lessons about what is possible in our roles of education. And we have no plans to stop. In the last month alone, we have begun putting together a strategy for how students in Kentucky can start addressing the achievement gap in our schools. We have prototyped a student voice audit that has allowed us to go into schools to show school administration the power of incorporating student voice in policy creation and in feedback. We are mobilizing to challenge candidates for governor in Kentucky to state openly what they plan to do for students. And we have grown our ranks just through word of mouth, to over 75 students, middle school through college age, around the state, ignited with a passion to change education. Looking back, I can't help but to think how strangely fitting it is that in order to fully appreciate what our schools need to do to prepare students like me for life, I had to follow my instincts and move beyond them. The Pritchard Committee Student Voice Team is rethinking education in Kentucky with a bias towards action. In our ever designing, in our ever evolving work and design, we aim to prove that students can be more than just consumers of our schools. We want to show how students, when fully supported as partners, can be creators of our education too. And finally, the lesson that I definitely did learn from my fifth grade teacher. If problem students like me don't do well in history, well, maybe it's because we're more interested in me.